I was watching this, uh, not not first 48, it was more than that, where they dive into like crime stories. I could I could not go to bed till I saw it finished. Because we're talking about prison? Yeah. Dude. So, it, true story. This uh, man and uh, girl go off to the military. They're both stationed in North Korea. They get married. But then they're stationed at different stations. Uh-huh. They come back from being stationed. I forget where it's at, and they live in like a trailer park, or whatever. He gets he he goes out, he go, he he goes to get food for his wife, and they have a kid together. He, he goes to get food. He gets gunned down, shot <gasps> sometimes, shot in the back of the head, shot shot the fuck up, Jesus. dies. They have the police footage, the body cam of them walking up, and the the wife bawling, trying to get into the ambulance, bawling like, wow, how the fuck, how does that Cr- going nuts? And the dad's there, and he's like, my son's a good boy. This doesn't make sense, blah, blah, And he's a big dude with dreads, big black guy, Dr- big dude. And he's like, this doesn't make sense, blah, blah, blah. He's furious. He's like, who the fuck would do this? So the cops uh, are looking at the case, and like, we think it was a, a mistaken identity, and they thought he was a gang member. Damn. So they investigate that. They find nothing. They're like, man, something has to be going on here. They talk to the girlfriend. So they have the dad. They ask the dad, go, hey, can you come down with the wife? And uh, we need some question for you. And he goes, yeah, sure, no problem. She's like, yeah, of course, whatever it takes. The dad gets in. They have this all on camera. The dad gets there, and they go, we're going to be a while. Why don't you go home? And he's like, what the fuck? Like, what? Dad's like, what? Because the, the wife was staying with the family the whole time, saying that, crying, like, and they were, you know, trying to consult her and take care of her. So the dad goes, what the fuck? And they go, we're going to be a while. Why don't you go ahead and go home? So they bring in the best, like, uh, investigator in all the land they bring him in he's the number one guy that does the lie detector test she fails the lie detector which happens sure. and he mm-hmm. even admits he goes sometimes soft but yeah. she lied about a few things so he keeps talking he keeps, there, she's there for seven hours she got there at 11 mm-hmm. she's there for seven hours finally she's like all right what happened is i was dating another man it's not what it seems i was dating a, i started dating another soldier because he would listen to me start dating him and uh he wanted to take care of the problem and so when uh he was like drove down from like memphis to like texas wherever it's at drove down there and the kid went out at night and he would uh follow him in his car but i guess there was he was gonna do it at a nightclub but there's too many witnesses so he waited so she was like well the right time would come just stay close so So uh, she was in on this dude so when he Uh, went to get food she texts her side piece (sighs) he's going to get food so he comes up shoots him right shoots them they solve all this the girl's behind all of it because he had a insurance plan that where she would get like five hundred thousand dollars what a piece of shit piece of shit right this is what's crazy the dad and this is all on camera the dad goes into the prison because he gets life the girl gets life they're both fucked yeah the kids fucked right so the dad goes in to, t- to talk to him because he want to talk to the killer of his son and he's sitting down he's super mild-mannered like big dude dreads he's sitting there and uh, the they're talking about it, and the son and the killer's like, "I want you to know, man, it was her plan. Like she she wanted the the 500k. I was just caught up in it. I apologize. She never got like this." And the dad's like, "No, I get it, man. I get it. You're strapped for cash. I get why you would do this." Yep. And he's like, "Can you ever forgive me?" And the dad he just doesn't answer, but he's cool. I'm like, "Why the fuck's being so cool?" And then the so, then the killer goes, "You look like you want to kill me right now." He goes, "I don't want to kill you." He goes, I don't know. Her name's like Tiffany. He goes, I don't know. If, did Tiffany ever tell you what I, what I used to do and what I'm involved with? And you see the guy's like demeanor change. He goes, no. He goes, I got a lot of friends where you're at. A lot of friends. Oh. And he goes, and you're going to meet a lot of friends. And he goes, you can see his face turns white. And he's a black dude. His face, he's like mixed. He turns white. And he goes, what, what do you, what do you, is that a threat? He goes, I'm just saying you're going to meet a lot of friends in there. You're going to meet a lot of, and he just kept me, you're going to meet a lot of friends. And he goes, have a good, have a good night. And hangs up the phone, walks off. Then they interview the dad uh, at his house like days later, and they go, uh, he got life. So are you happy with that? He goes, yeah, that's fine. He won't make it two years. And then just ended. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy fuck. I could Damn. not get enough of it. Yeah. Damn. He goes, he goes, I got a lot of friends in there, my man. He goes, I don't know if she told you the crowd I used to run with, but they're all in there. And you're going to make a lot of friends. And he kept going, what's that mean? He goes, you make a lot of friends. I was like, holy fuck. Uh, you fucked up. Yeah. Dog, um. They're like, well, they gave him life. Isn't that, ha- aren't you happy with that? He goes, oh, that's fine. He won't make it two years. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't give a fuck, dude. Well, you're, you you're like, yeah. holy. Because f- you, you and I know what it's like to have His son also ran with that same crowd. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know what so, it's like. Yeah. And then they, and it's like they they dominate that wherever, whatever prison he was in. They, they're, just, they're just everywhere. Yeah, you, you're not gonna. But you he, said his son ran with that crowd too. Yeah. yeah, He's like, have a good, have a good night. Hangs up the phone. Yeah, have a good night. I was Damn. like, oh my god, can you imagine the Ruthless. terror that fucking, yeah. which obviously he deserves too. Yeah. Well, you, you're never gonna. You and I have a son, so you don't even know how much you love that kid. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's beyond. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? You just you don't care anymore about anything. I don't want peace. Yeah. No. You, you, you God forbid, do something like that. I don't want. Peace. But this dad was so mild manner and controlled. I'm like, how's he not going mm -hmm. crazy? The murder's literally two inches away from through well, this thick glass. Well, because he, he all, all and he, he was he just listening. And he's like, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I want you in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's the, you're you're on this on the process. My God. You want him in the ground. <sighs> There's like, no oh. other alternative. Yeah. In the ground. But dude, the the way this that that the wife was like when the kid was shot like on the body cam. On the, mm -hmm. Like freaking out, crying, and he was like, "She's a good actor, man." She's a Ooh, he's like, "She's a good actor." She's a piece. She had no remorse either. Like they were like, "Do you want to say anything to the family?" She's like, mm -mm. "No, sociopath." Yeah, yeah. that's what he said. Yeah. He, he was like, "It's crazy me because she she's like my daughter. She stayed with us whole God time. Damn. Like she would give How us. How could she do that too? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Living with people, dude. Some people just and they had a no child fear. together. Oh my God, Nuts. what a fucking monster! Piece of shit.